hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our garage scene or you can say our game main menu okay so as you know on that menu we will have an option to select different player cars and then when a user select one car on the garage scene then we will simply spawn that car right here in the racing area as well so for that right here click on this player car and then click on this create empty parent and let's name this as player car spawn area and the logic behind doing all of this is that if the user selects this car from the main menu then we will just simply activate this car right here and then by using this car the player will continue racing and if the player selects the other car for example this one or this one then the that this car will be activated right here and the player can just go ahead and continue racing on that specific car so let's add this car right here okay or actually what we can do is to simply duplicate this first car okay because as you know we have the body the wheels and the script all of that so what we can do we can simply duplicate that and we can name this as player car okay let's for now deactivate that one let's click on this player car right here in the body as you can see we have this car one body so what we can do inside the body let's add this one the diesel body okay let's click on that prefab and back completely and let's delete all of that okay now we have the body right here don't worry we will remove the tires as well let's open up the wheels okay for now ignore the body in the body we have all of that okay the diesel body open up the wheels and right here as you can see we have the wheel transforms let's actually delete all of the wheel transforms and add these wheels in there okay that's it now if we click on the colliders let's turn on the gizmos as you can see we have the colliders a little bit messed up but okay we will fix that let me do that there is the body then right here in the wheel collider we will fix the wheels but first of all if we check the game view as you can see the game view is still beautiful because we have the look point for this player car okay and guys just do as similar to what I am doing okay don't mess with these steps and also make sure that the naming is similar to the first car okay if you name this car as just car or player car one then make sure that this name will be similar to that one as well okay let's fix the box collider so right here let's move this box collider right here let's do the back left okay here it is okay it is set let's do the front right now here is the box collider let's move it there let's do the back right now move it right there that's it if we check the game view here is our game view let me actually play the game and see if this car will work or not okay as you can see it shows this error on the wheel transforms because we have changed the wheel so now we need to provide the wheel transforms so if we open up the wheel transform let's add first actually let's just rename this all to front left then front right then let's name this as back left and then back right okay and after this now let's drag and drop this inside the transforms so we have the back left then sorry front left front right 
then back left and back right okay guys this step is really confusing i know but just follow me in here okay watch this video step by step okay now it shows this this is because we need to remove this mesh collider from the piece and body collider okay because we already have a box collider added as you can see and actually let's uh, do this to the box collider okay it is the box collider and according to this car as you can see now let's clear that out now consider this that if in the garage menu the player select this diesel car okay so when the player select the diesel car as you know this other car will be deactivated and then this diesel car will be activated okay and then the player will continue racing on this car as you know here is the car okay as you can see it is still moving because we need to add a reference to this car as well so right here inside the player canvas as you can see we have this timer and then we have this references to all of the opponent cards and to the player car for now we just only have a reference to our player first car okay that one now we need a reference to this player other car as well so let's go ahead and open up the script and let's just copy this first reference okay and whoops let's paste it down below and this time let's name this as player car controller one and now down below when the timer is greater than one then we want to stop this vehicle so player car controller one dot acceleration will be set to zero and when the countdown timer is equals to zero or you can say when the game start then the car controller one dot acceleration force will be then 300 again and that's it let's save it now right here let's actually click on this player canvas right here we need to add the player car right there okay now we have added the reference to this car as well now let's play the game and now as you can see we can't move our car so now when the game start as you can see now the car is moving but now the third person didn't know that which car to follow because on the third person cine machine as you can see it is following the first look point okay it is actually following the player car the first car okay which is this one it is following that look point okay not the second car look point so in order to fix this what we will do we will simply drag and drop this third person cine machine inside this player car one okay which is disabled okay and now as you can see it has a reference to that look point okay now let's duplicate this camera let's drag and drop this inside the player car let me do that and now this camera will not follow that look point. now this will follow this look point and it will also look at this look point which is for this black diesel car now if we play the game you will notice that the first car is deactivated now only this car is activated and now it will follow this car as you can see it is following this car okay and let's actually go inside the scene view let's focus upon this car as you can see the car wheels are more rotating as well because the player car controller script is similar to the first one okay it is actually the same script and in that script we already typed the code for rotating the wheels now guys let's add our third car as well okay you can add many cars if you want but for now i will just simply add three cars so that the player can select between that three cars okay so here is the first one then here is the second one now let's add the third one so if you go inside prefabs we have this lagoon and the reason i am showing you this step again 
because I know this can be get confusing so that's why I'm doing this again so the first step guys focus up okay the first step is to just simply copy this player car okay or you can just copy and duplicate the first car if you want and then remove that from there okay just name this as player car as well let's actually deactivate the second one now we have the third one right here let's go inside the body we have the diesel body now we don't want this diesel body we want the lagoon body so just drag and drop that in there and delete the diesel body let's click on this and click on prefab unpack completely now we have the car right there okay inside the body we have the lagoon now uh, open up the lagoon okay we it has these tiles okay these four tiles what we will do with them is to simply open up these wheels and then this transforms delete the other transforms okay and then inside this wheel transforms let's drag and drop that in there and after that the third step will be just simply rename all of them to front right front left then back left and then back right okay after renaming all of the wheels the next thing which we will do is to fix the wheels colliders okay so let's select the front left and what we will do we will simply drag and drop that right there okay let's do the back right as well let's move this right there okay let's do this for this tire as well so it is the back left let's drag and drop that there let's do the front left as well let's try and drop that there okay now save it and after fixing the colliders click on the lagoon body collider and remove the mesh collider okay or else it will give out an error and after doing all of that now as you can see it shows missing transform so actually we can open this again and right here in the wheel transforms now let's add the new wheels right there and once that is done click on the third person cine machine add this look point okay the look point of this lagoon add that and now if we play the game then this car will move okay so we need a reference right here to now the third car as well so open up the script right here let's actually copy that paste it down below and change this to player car controller 2 then right down below let's actually copy this or actually we can copy this whole line and then down below we just need to change this to player car controller 2 and then copy that paste it down below and change this to player car controller 2 that's it now if you get back right here as you can see now we need a reference to this next car now so add that there okay now if we play the game as you can see we can't move our vehicle but when the timer say go as you can see now our car is moving as you can see so now we have three different cars for our player okay and the cars can move forward and backward and do all of the acceleration and steering things okay now let me disable this third car as well okay now we have three cars now in the next video we will first work on our garage scene okay and then there we will give an option to the player to select between these three cars if we select the first one then the first one will appear like this on the scene day okay the same day and when we select this car 
then we will start the game and then you can race using this card okay and then if you select other two then the setting will be changed accordingly okay so let's end this video right here